Another sort of new form of income that I've been trying to perfect. Hey guys, today's video sponsor is WeMoney. WeMoney is an application that you can download to help get your finances on track. WeMoney combines all your spending applications like your bank app and your buy now pay later applications that I personally use a lot to track and crush debt. Now I know a lot of you are paying off car loans and paying off parts that you have bought to finish off those sick car builds. It is definitely not easy keeping track of those payments. WeMoney helps to track your spendings, set goals to pay off those debts and it keeps it super easy all in one application. There's also a section in the application that you can use to view refinance opportunities to help save you on interest. And there is also a community section to help support you on your financial journey. And if finance is something you consider you need help with, then download the application today and enjoy today's video. Hey guys, what is going on? It's been a pretty busy morning. This morning we filmed a video, or finished half a video. That's gonna be up today. So if you haven't seen that one, go watch the previous video. It's uh, pretty late in the afternoon now. It's about 3.40 uh, p.m. So we're actually preparing orders. I'm gonna send these off before the post office closes. And I've got Nathan coming around and I've also got some stuff to share with you guys. I've also spent a little bit of today making some new designs. We have some new Tough Rig merch. Going live on the website, there are, <laughs> there's a few stickers and stuff. Bankyspec.com if you want to help support the channel, of course. One thing that I've been trying really hard to work on is my organization skills. My life is pretty hectic and stuff is hard to organize, especially when you got so much going on, but we're slowly getting better and better. Being a YouTuber is definitely, definitely not easy, especially a car YouTuber. My wake up times are usually pretty late because I spend a lot of my time editing at night time. So I might finish editing at like 1 a.m. So I wake up at about 9, 9.30. And this morning we spent time working on this thing and we have created quite a bit of a mess in the garage. So I'll probably clean that up once I get back from the post office. The Viper alarm keeps killing the battery in this thing. It's super annoying. So sometimes I'll come outside to a dead battery. Also, people think that I don't drive this thing often. I drive it like almost every day to the post office. Maybe I'll go a little bit extra if I feel like going for a cruise. <laughs> I apologize, the audio is about to get really crap because we are driving an extremely loud and obnoxious 1JZ chaser. So today is gonna be sort of a day in the life video. Although I didn't record uh, most of my day, I started recording this video at 3.40 p.m. I decided to make a video like this because if I was a viewer of my channel, I'd like to know exactly what I, I got up to. I feel like transparency isn't necessary, but it's important for authenticity. And I know personally when I watch YouTubers talk about the stuff that they do behind the scenes, I really get engaged and I get really interested and it makes me really connect with them. So maybe this will help you connect with me a little bit. <laughs> oh my goodness, always puts a smile on my face. I always say this when I drop off orders, but I wanna thank each and every one of you for of course, buying stuff from the Banky Spec store. It really helps me out and you'll see why further in this video because today we're gonna to be talking about how I am a YouTuber, where I get my money from, and mainly what I get up to on a daily basis to make this life work. I don't really entirely know how to make one of these videos. I've never made a video like this before, but I wanna start off by saying stuff that I think needs to be clarified in order for you to understand where I've come from and how hard I've worked to get where I am today. I do live in a very nice house. I've got lots of space. 
Um, it's definitely no secret that I've got a pretty decent living space and that is because I still live at home with my family. I do not own any of this. This garage is my parents and next year I think I will be moving out from this area. Now as well as that, any sort of money that I've spent on my cars, I have paid for, I have worked for and I guess that can bring us to the first job that I had while starting YouTube for the very first time. Not the cleanest sort of background that we're working with now, but project cars, am I right? <laughs> so we'll go back even further, like why I began YouTube and yeah, where, where I came from. So just like most people, I finished school. I finished year 12, not knowing what I wanted to do. So I did what every regular person does and that was go to uni. I was actually at uni on and off for two to three years. I didn't really understand why I was there, but I knew I didn't really entirely know what I wanted to do. So I just grinded it out. I failed a bunch of units. I went back and I repeated units. And that is when I sort of started looking for other options that would lead me in the direction of not a typical nine to five job, but rather a business that I can make from the ground up which has led to what we have today, which is not a crazy milestone or anything, but definitely a position that I am very happy in right now. I was at uni for two to three years and about halfway I decided to do YouTube videos because I'd always like deep down wanted to be a YouTuber, but I didn't entirely think it was possible because you know, I'm just a regular everyday normal mother just a regular everyday normal mother um, I'm just I'm just a regular dude, but it got to that stage where I was getting pretty depressed about what I was doing in life and it ended up in me writing a pros and cons list to me continuing university. It ended up being super <laughs> illogical to be at university when I could, you know, grind out YouTube and get the life that I really wanted, which was, you know, having my own business and just working whenever I wanted to. And I remember sitting in the car with Chloe running through my pros and cons and understanding that, yeah, I, I got to drop university and I, you know, got to commit to this YouTube thing because how else are you supposed to know if you're going to be able to do something without even trying, right? Like how you, how was I ever going to know if I was going to be a YouTuber if I didn't even give it a go? So at the time I was working a, you know, part-time job at Coles. So just a supermarket here in Australia. And I started grinding out YouTube videos. I just, just kept making videos. I was whipping out the camera every time mates came by with their cars. Um, I remember not even telling people about my YouTube channel, hiding it from them. So I wouldn't get embarrassed because it was kind of weird. It's kind of weird talking to a camera, especially around uh, people that are really close to you. They're, they're just going to think you're weird and stuff. But you know what? doesn't matter now because I look at the camera like I look at 75,000 people that watch my videos. So it's cool. Like I actually have an audience now, which is the reason why I sort of wanted to make this video. So it took a long time to make any sort of money from ad revenue on YouTube. It took a very long time. And now if you want to start a YouTube channel, you need to reach a thousand subscribers, get like 4,000 hours of watch time. And it's, it's freaking difficult, man. And I know it's difficult because I went through it and I've been watching uh, Nathan go through it because I'm trying to help him and coach him through making a YouTube channel. So the pay started to increase on YouTube ad revenue while I was working at Coles. So I was sort of, you know, grinding out, making those videos as well as getting paid on YouTube. And I set a goal for myself. I said, once I start making $400 a week ad revenue, I'm going to quit Coles. Stock. One's, one's stock. BM. One's, and one's not. BMW. Now, coincidentally, I actually ended up getting another job that was uh, pretty good that I'm still at today that pays a lot more and I work less. I work two days a week. So once I had reached that goal of making $400 a week, I actually moved to another job, which I'm still doing, like I said, but ultimately I'd like to do YouTube entirely full time. I'm doing YouTube full time right now and two days work um, at that other job. So if you do count my hours, I do work more than any other nine to five. I'm doing seven days a week. Uh, it's very rare that I actually get time to chill with people. Um, but the beautiful thing about YouTube is that I am chilling with people sort of while I'm working, which is another benefit to this job. So I started that job about two and a half years ago from this current time and I was making decent money. I was making about $450 a week from those two days of work. And I was also making probably a couple hundred dollars, maybe max $400 a week on YouTube as well. So it was actually some pretty decent money and it was extremely motivating at the time because, you know, I had been proving to myself that something like this was possible since the beginning and getting more money out of working harder was just an awesome push. Like it proved to myself that the harder that I work, the more effort I put into the channel, the more I would get paid. So 
I just kept going and going and making more videos and the money just went up and up. However, it wasn't enough to pay for all these dang cars that are in the garage and also outside. It, it just wasn't enough money. So I also had to create merchandise. So I actually started merchandise well before I began that second job that I'm currently at. Um, I started making stickers and stickers were a massive risk because there was a massive like setup fee. <laughs> it's funny that I'm talking about merch because we've currently got the next batch of new merch. So let's go pick it up. All right, we got some, some new merch. <laughs> So just to sum up, at that point in time, I had three sources of income. I had ad revenue, I had merchandise, and I had my normal job. And it was doing pretty well. I don't like to talk figures too much because, I don't know, it's kind of weird. And maybe later we'll, we'll make a video on that. I don't know, I don't know if that's like something that I should be transparent about. I don't know. Again, the ambitions that I have, the goals, the things that I want to do on the channel, I need to make more money. And there are other ways of doing so, which I have started doing. And I, I, I've been doing it for a while. Other thing, little things. To show you my fourth income stream, I'm going to have to take you upstairs. So I'm now upstairs and I forgot that some of the stuff that I was going to show you is gone. Um, <laughs> just stupid me. I guess I could just explain to you anyway while I'm up here. Another income stream that I'm trying to perfect right now is essentially reselling items from Facebook Marketplace. An example of that were wheels that I bought and sold a couple of weeks ago. I actually bought one pair of two and one set of four and I made some money on those. Reselling car parts is a pretty viable option that I've found to work out pretty well. And that's why I made a video a couple of weeks ago trying to resell cars because it's just another way that'll help me pump money into the channel and just make the coolest content. So that's also another thing that I've noticed is pretty much everything that I've made from you know hustling, working, grinding, it's all gone back into the channel and I know eventually it's going to pay off. Like I'm pro probably running in the negative right now as I'm just constantly pumping money straight into the channel. But I think we're making some pretty sick content at the moment and I'm, I'm very happy with it. And I'm sure you guys are too because the views are, you know, doing really well. Yeah, I've already sold all my stuff, but I had a few keyboards laying around. Um, I just sold off a pair of Jordans. Working for yourself is just a bunch of hustling and bustling, trying to get every little cent, you know, so you can use that for your end goal. It honestly is more fulfilling to me than sitting somewhere on my ass working for someone else. I don't know. I, I just prefer to make decisions um, by myself. And I definitely think there's ways that you can work for other people, for other companies and still have a great time. But as for now, where I currently am positioned, I love doing what I'm doing with YouTube. So to sum up, I make money from ad revenue, selling merchandise, working two days a week at a job, and also reselling stuff online. If I move out, expenses are only gonna go up, so gonna just have to work harder. The last thing I forgot to mention is sponsors. As you saw at the start of the video, sponsorships help me also have money for the channel, and sponsors also decrease my expenses. So just for the Barra build, for example, Dominator Motorsports has hooked it up with all the Barra stuff. Um, we've got Ford Performance Salvage working with us, TI Performance as well, hooking it up. Um, that's just to name a few. So most of that stuff I would include as expense decreases and less on an income sort of level, but it's just something that comes along with YouTube as well. Anyway, guys, I appreciate it so much. You clicking on this video, it really means the world to me. I hope you feel a little bit more connected and have an understanding of what gets going on in the background of my daily life. I had to film this video over two days because I fell a little bit under the weather. You can kind of hear in my voice, I'm a little bit unwell, but I hope this helps for you guys to understand the kind of work that goes into being a YouTuber, especially a car YouTuber. And just remember, I'm a, a totally regular dude doing pretty regular sort of stuff. I don't know, not probably not regular sort of stuff, but anything that I can do, you can do as well. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I appreciate your support and I will see you all in the next one. Catch ya.